Hi guys, so for today's video, um, I decided to uh, record myself um, shopping at our local bookstore chapters looking for art books. Uh, so I thought um, I'd show you guys that, uh, show you the little bit of uh, art selection, art supply selection that they have, plus the art books and art magazines that they have. And then finally, I'll show you a quick flip through of what I ended up buying. All right. So in the video, actually, I'm talking really quietly. So I'm really sorry if um, the audio is kind of bad because uh, there were a lot of people in the store the day I recorded. So I had to kind of do my inside voice. So I hope you guys are okay with that. So anyways, here goes the video. Okay, so I'm at Chapters right now and I just want to show you guys the art supply section that they have up here. Okay, and now we're going to go to the book section. Okay, so now we're at the painting and drawing section here and I'm just going to do a quick pan of what they have. One of my favorite books is here, Color and Great by James Gurney. And also this one is another book I highly recommend. And I think we have manga, lightning color. No, I've never seen this one before. And I think that is it. Alright. Okay, so now I'm in the magazine section and I'll show you guys the art books that they care currently have.
this is <laughs> so hard to do with one hand. Hmm, this one I might actually get. How much is it? $26.99 Canadian. Oh my goodness. This one is actually the one I'm thinking of getting as well. Okay. Okay guys, that is it. So I ended up getting the this magazine, Best Digital Art for Film and Games, Concept Artist. And this is uh, the same uh, company that, actually, yeah, it's a Imagine FX edition, special edition, I guess. So, because I know they do those special, special edition stuff, like the sketchbook ones that was in the, in the bookstore. So yeah, we'll just do a quick flip through. I'll just do it like this. Just a lot of really inspiring images from artists. And um, there were interviews with uh, Craig Mullins and stuff like that. So I usually don't buy art magazines anymore just because they're so pricey here in Canada but sometimes you know because I haven't bought an art book in a while I thought might as well just do a bit of a splurge you know what let me just do a proper Probably easier that way From Horizons Zero Dawn, Mad Men, Avengers, Kung Fu Panda, so cool. I can actually understand why Imagine FX magazines are so expensive because there's um, really so much info in them, especially the special editions that they have, like the anatomy one and the sketchbook one. That sketchbook one was actually about 40 bucks Canadian, so, so this one was $26.99 Canadian. I love looking at these pictures of um, artist studios just to get some ideas, you know? Kevin Jenkins. All right, and that is it. Thanks for watching guys and as always if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!